A few BenQ Pro displays support refresh rate other than 60 Hz. This is really designed to support video playback at its native frame rate, namely the PV line displays and to the more recent release SW display. In this video, what I'm going to do is talk about them a little bit and also show you how you can go in and change the refresh rate on a window operating system. I'm Art and Art is right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. A quick background. BenQ PV Pro Video Display lineup support refresh rate of 60Hz and at 72Hz. The 72Hz refresh rate will allow you to play back your 24 frame per second content at its native cadence without any pull down. Moving forward to the SW Display lineup, as I mentioned the two recent release SW Display, the SW270C 2K hardware calibrated display, and the one that I have here, the SW321C 4K hardware calibrated display support a refresh rate of 24, 25, 30, 50, and 60 hertz. This way you have a lot more variety of how you can use this. The second thing though is that if you plan to use these display as a lower refresh rate display to do video playback and preview, the best thing to do is to have this as a secondary display and set it to that frame rate and then have another external display or a laptop display, whatever you may have, as a full display that you can do full timeline edit at 60 hertz. This way you don't see a lag in interface when you're trying to, to play back and edit your content. That being said, let's go in and change the refresh rate on the display. So on the Windows system, what you would simply do is right click anywhere on the desktop and go to display setting. From there, it will launch the display dialog. You can click the display now, making sure that you have the SW321C or the one that support the custom refresh rate selected. From there, scroll down to the very bottom and what you want to do is come and click on advanced display setting. So if you have selected the display earlier, when you click on advanced display setting, it will pull up the BenQ screen right away. If not, simply click on this drop down list and choose your BenQ display. From here, click on display adapter property for display 2. It will pop up with this dialog that shows the driver, the adapter, everything else. On the second tab, simply come down here and select your screen refresh rate. As you will see, it support 23, 24, 25, 29, 30, 50, 59, and 60 hertz. So on the Windows system, it does list more refresh rate than the Macintosh system. But if you really think about it, those 59 hertz, 29 hertz, those are the 29.95 hertz. Those are like more like the 29.95 frame per second that your camera capture. So if I want to go 60, I can just simply come click on apply and your screen will refresh a little bit and it will ask you if you want to keep the setting or not. You can simply do that. I can also go in and choose 30 hertz display. So for instance, if I'll do that, I'll click on apply. This is going to lag a little bit and I notice right away that the mouse and everything is moving much slower, but this is something normal to expect from a lower frame rate or a lower refresh rate once you set that in your system settings. Keep the change, I'm going to move back to 60. Uh, sometimes you can come and also click on high mode that this monitor cannot display. But in this situation, all these modes are available. So that's why they're all showing up and not being hidden. From here, click on OK. And now you have set the custom frame rate or the custom refresh rate on your BenQ display on a Windows 10 system. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the comment section below. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new. Hit on the bell to be notified every time I upload great contents like this. And until next time, I just write.